Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. I'm Payman Ansari. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about decision tree in RapidMiner, how to apply decision tree for a multi-class classification problem. Let's first import the data. We need to locate where the data is. It is in my computer. In my case, it is in the desktop and I, it is iris and I click next, next, and next. And it is where I want to save the data. It is in learning repository and in data folder and the name I want to be iris and then finish. So this is the data set that I have. It has 150 rows of the data and also six attributes and as you can see the first attribute att1 is redundant i have to get rid of that if i take a look at the statistic uh these attributes are about the data set and the last one class which is the class of the data set that i have but it is integer, the data type is integer, and I need to change the integer to nominal for this data set. That is the first pre-processing part of the data that we do. And if I come to design part, the first thing I need to do to uh, retrieve the data, I just grab the iris data set and drop it in the process panel. In order to get rid of redundant attribute, I use select attribute operator. And then configure it. Because there is only one attribute that I'm going to remove, I choose single as attribute filter type, and then I give the name of the attribute, which is ATT1, and I invert the selection. Next, I'm going to change the data type of class attribute, which is the target variable, from integer to polynomial. In order to do that, I use numerical to polynomial operator. And then I need to configure it. And because I'm going to change the data type of only one variable, then I use single as attribute filter type and the attribute is just class. Now that the pre-processing part of the data set is done, we need to specify the target variable. In order to do that, we use set role operator. And in order to configure this, we just need to give the name of the variable, which in this case is class, and specify the target role. So here it is label. Next, I'm going to split the data into training set and test set using a split data operator. And I'm going to partition the data with 70% of the data for training and 30% of the data for testing. Now the data is ready and we can apply decision tree classifier. In order to do that, I'm going to use decision tree operator and I need to configure this. There are different criterion options that we can use. Gini ratio, information gain, Gini index, and accuracy. I'm going to use Gini index because it is classification. Obviously, we cannot use list of scores. And maximal depth, you can choose any number. We can apply 
pruning as well. I'm not going to use that one as well as apply pre-pruning. And for pre-pruning, there are different options like minimal gain, minimal leaf size, minimal size for a split, as well as number of pre-pruning alternative. And I'm not going to choose this one as well. Now our model is built and I'm going to calculate the performance of the model on training set and test set. And in order to do that, I need to make a copy of this decision tree. In order to do that, I use multiply. This multiply operator simply make a copy of the decision tree model that is being built. Keep in mind that multiply operator has no configuration. Next, I'm going to measure the performance of the decision tree model on both training set and test set. In order to do that, first I use apply model operator The apply model operator has two input. One of them is the model, which I get it from the multiply operator. And the other one is the data set. And for the training set, I use the data from the decision tree. And I rename this as training. Next is to, uh, to measure the performance and I use performance for classification. And in order to configure this one, so the first criterion that I choose is accuracy. The other metric can be chosen. There are a bunch of them here. We can choose each one based on problems that you have. And now we connect the output of the performance to the output of the process. Then we do the same for test set. In order to calculate the performance of the model on the test set, I have done the same thing as what I did for the training, but for apply model, I use the model from the multiply operator. For the test set, I use the test from the split data. The rest is the same as what we had for training. I also want to take a look at the weight of the decision tree. So I connect the weight to the output as well. Also, I want to take a look at the decision tree itself. So I connect the multiply to the output. And if I run this, this is the decision tree that we have. This is the weight of the decision tree for each variable that we have. And this is the performance on the training set which is 100% accurate and that this is not surprising because we did not apply any pruning on the decision tree and also we get the performance on the test set, which we have 95% accuracy. 